Hello everyone, this is Colleen Lemma, Angelic Astrologer and Spiritual Consultant from AngelMessenger.net, here to do your weekly Angel Card reading for Monday, March 10th through Sunday, March 16th, 2014. So we're already into the second full week of March. And if you recall last week's reading, um, we are into a powerful time where things are getting ready to move forward. I think last week's reading, if you recall, it talked about having a little bit of patience. There was a lot of powerful energies in last week's reading, but just saying that um, we have to have a little bit of patience while things kind of develop. And I really feel like um, because astrologically, we just had a lot of planets changing directions. We've had, since the beginning of the month, Mercury turning into direct motion. We've had Mars going retrograde, Saturn going retrograde, and also Jupiter going into direct motion. So a lot of planetary shifts over the last week, week and a half, and I, I feel like um, this is the cause for us having to have that patience. We're going to see what the angels say for this week. You might also want to check the monthly reading for March if you haven't already. It was a really powerful reading, and uh, I know that we're in line for a lot of good things to start developing and taking place here within the next couple of months. Astrologically for this week, we have a couple of things that stand out. For Monday and into Tuesday, we're dealing with Mercury, the planet of communication, squaring or in a challenging aspect to the planet Saturn, which can oftentimes be about, you know, restrictions and limitations. And Saturn is in Scorpio as well, which is a very deep, emotionally deep kind of sign. So I think for Monday and Tuesday, um, a lot of you on the physical level might feel a little bit extra tired. Um, uh, mentally and emotionally, you might feel a little bit uh, frustrated. Um, I think that there's been a lot of ideas that we've all had since the beginning of the year that you know we're waiting to see come into fruition or we're waiting to move forward on those. And there can be that frustration energy at the beginning of the week as Mercury, again, having just gone direct, is trying to speed up and, and get out of its shadow period so that some of those ideas and projects and goals that we have can start to actually come to fruition. When we come to Friday this week, the 14th of March, Mercury is going to be making a positive aspect or a trine aspect to the planet Mars, which just went retrograde in Libra not too long ago. And Although Mars is retrograde, I really feel like once we get to Friday, you're going to start to see your your mood change, your thoughts being more positive, and I think some of those plans and ideas that you have, you'll actually start to see movement on them um, with that trine to Mars. And then we come up to Sunday, and Sunday we have a full moon, a full moon at 26 degrees of Virgo. It occurs at 108 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and again, that, that buildup towards Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with that full moon um, is going to be powerful to kind of project energy forward in different areas of your life. So put your intentions out there, especially later this week, and let the angels and your guides know what it is that you'd like to um, you know, put that energy towards to try to bring into manifestation as you move forward in life and on your path. So we're going to use Doreen Virtue's Angel Tarot deck this week for the weekly reading. And also, as I was meditating, the angels also wanted me to use one card here from the Angels of Atlantis deck as a special message for everyone for the week. So I just went ahead and I shuffled and meditated and just pulled one randomly and set it here. And then for your special message individually for this week, we're going to be using the Ascended Masters deck, also by Doreen Virtue. By the way, the Angels of Atlantis deck is by Stuart Pierce. Um, your stone choices for this week for your special message card from the Ascended Masters deck is going to be Golden Calcite. This is a beautiful, deep, dark, golden colored piece of calcite. It's very 
smooth, very polished, very beautiful. And this to me is our force of will, our solar plexus chakra, you know, giving us confidence, giving us that, that sense of willpower to move forward on our goals and dreams and ambitions. And then we have a, kind of a new stone here, and not a lot of people have heard of, it's called Shatakite. And this Shatakite has, some of it is a little light blue. This one happens to be kind of a turquoise green sort of color. And Shatakite is really great for um, removing blocks to metaphysical gifts, talents, and abilities. And it's a high vibrational stone helping you to get in touch with higher spiritual vibrational energies. And then the last stone of choice, we haven't used this one before either, this is pyrite. And pyrite is, is what they used to a long time ago called fool's gold because it looks like gold, actually. But pyrite is really good for grounding and bringing things into manifestation. It's a very, very heavy kind of metal sort of stone. Um, again, it's you know kind of golden in color with little sparkly flecks in it. Okay, so again, you have golden calcite, shatakite, or pyrite for your stone of choice. Let's see what the angels have to say for the week. I've already meditated and shuffled the cards. Let's call in all of the angels and the archangels. We're going to call in all of our guides, master guides, and teachers of the light, the ascended masters, and all of those of the light that can give us whatever information is in our highest and best guidance for this week. And we're going to choose three cards for the week. This one's going to be the first card. And just kind of looking for whatever card seems to pop out. This is going to be the second card. And the third card is going to be this card. Okay. So let's see what the angels have to tell us for this week. We start off with a great energetic card. This is the Queen of Fire. And it says confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. And at the bottom it says stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. Now this is definitely a card that's filled with passion, filled with energy, filled with excitement, and as it says, it's filled with courage. And it's time for you to, just as it says, spread your wings and fly. It's, it's time to kind of step into your path, step into what it is that you desire, to put your intent out there to the universe, to take action. The fire cards here, um, which are the same as wands in the traditional tarot deck, this is a card of action. So. Uh, it's also very spiritual. The, the fire element is about spirit. So we're talking about spiritual passion and spiritual action and moving forward. And um, it seems like a great start to the week, but let's see what, what else the angels have to say. Wonderful. This is a nice card, too. This is the three of water, and it says a celebration. And then it says a wedding, graduation, or birth announcement, and the need to have more fun. So what I'm picking up from the angels, though, with this card is that we're going to um, feel a lot of wonderful emotions this week. Again, with that queen of fire starting off the week and having this, this surge of energy and the surge of confidence and and the angels, you know, kind of pushing us forward and that momentum starting to pick up with the energies. Something's going to occur this week that brings in a lot of wonderful, good feelings. The number three is about expansion and growth and joy. And here, actually, again, it talks about a celebration. And I don't, you know, uh, some of you might actually have something physical, like it says a birth or, you know, uh, a graduation, but I feel more that this is just a situation. It's a situation and a circumstance that allows you to feel really good, that you're expanding forward with your energies and your emotions and your feelings are more positive because of this forward growth and forward movement. And um, it's looking to be a wonderful week where, again, we're starting to build up some energies um, and bring things uh, into uh, a place that we have longed to kind of see this year so far. Let's see what the last card is for the week. The last card is the Eight of Air. 
Now this is interesting. It says, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, and afraid to take action. Now the key word in this card is an illusion. That this card, even though it, it seems to be more of a negative message, really what it's saying is all of those negative thoughts and ideas and beliefs that you have, because the air suit is about the thought processes. The air suit is about our ego, our personality, which often tries to trip us up. It trips us up with our fears and our anxieties and our lack of confidence, just like this says, that we have a lack of confidence. And what the angels are saying is that because things have been slow moving this year, because for a while now it seems like we have had a lot of obstacles in our path um, and, you know, that's been keeping us from moving forward the way that we, that we desire, I feel like our ego and our personality is stepping in and saying, wait a minute, you know, all these good energies that we have so far with the Queen of Fire and the Three of Water and things feeling really good, that I think people are going to start to feel like, oh, well, that's, that can't be, or, you know, they're going to, you're going to trip yourselves up with your own fears and anxieties. And the angels are saying, let that go. Again, this is all an illusion. It's an illusion of your own making, that the energies are really moving in a positive direction, that things really are starting to look up, that, you know, your energies are starting to be supported as far as your goals, your ambitions, the moves that you want to make within your career, your family, your relationships, uh, your life path. So let all that go. Uh, it, again, it's just something that you're creating with your own mind and step into your confidence, you know, step into your confidence and be assured that you are going to be able to make things happen and move forward the way that you want to and also to take action. Don't be afraid to take actions this week to make your dreams a reality. Let's see what the extra special message card from the Angels of Atlantis deck is. Oh, this is beautiful. This is Archangel Uriel. And Archangel Uriel's message down here says abundance. So that's, that's great confirmation. Great confirmation that we do need to hold on to those positive feelings. That we can step into um, feeling confident and assured that things are growing and expanding and getting better. And this is abundance in all areas of our life. You can see all these wonderful sparkles and the trees in the full bloom and, you know, the stars here up in the sky are just shining brightly. So we definitely have the angels support this week as we move forward on our path and things are moving in the right direction. Things are growing, starting to take sprout, starting to grow. And very soon we're going to see um, those manifestations, the fruits of the, the labors that we've been putting out. Let's see what your extra special message card is, depending on what stone you chose for the week. So here we have, again, the Ascended Masters deck. For those of you that chose the Golden Calcite, very perfect. This is Vishnu, the Ascended Master Vishnu, and it says trust. So Vishnu and the angels want you to trust that what is occurring is in the highest and best interest of the divine plan, your divine plan, your soul's divine plan, and that everything is moving forward appropriately in divine timing. As I said, the planetary energies are, you know, all redirecting and they're all moving in a particular way. Now they're starting to speed up. And I know, too, astrologically, as we move into April, it's going to be a really powerful month next month. So things are moving in the right direction for you. So just trust and have faith. And then for those of you that chose the Shattakite, the Shattakite message, this is Lady Nada, and it says mother, wife, sister, daughter. And what I'm picking up from Lady Nada, or from the angels here with this card, is to be in your divine feminine nature. Now, it, it could be that there is a woman of some sort, whether it be mother, wife, sister, daughter, or a friend who is a woman. It could be that a woman is helpful this week for you in some way, shape, or form. But what I'm really getting, again, from this card is that we need to step into our divine feminine energy, which is one of receptivity and unconditional love and being in that place, going back to that place of trust and faith, all of those things are feminine qualities.
Okay, the masculine qualities are about taking action, but the feminine qualities are about opening up your heart chakra and receiving blessings from the universe. And that's what I feel like Lady Nada uh, is talking about for you this week if you chose Shatakite, is that open up your heart, open up your spirit, um, open up that divine feminine energy within you and receive the many blessings, you know, be in that place of receptivity and allowing for those things to come to you. And then for those of you that chose the pyrite, let's see what your special message for pyrite is. The spiritual law of attraction. That's almost the same as the previous one, in a way, with Lady Nada, but this is Melchizedek. Um, and Melchizedek talks about the magical spiritual law of attraction. Um, sort of, you know, in a sense of, um, again, being receptive. Being receptive to the blessings that come to you, but also it's about what you put out, you get back. You know, it's that kind of uh, law of what comes around, goes around. The energy you put out, you get back. So put out energies um, of blessings and forgiveness and unconditional love and compassion and even helping. You know, if you see someone in help or there's an organization that you've been thinking about assisting in some way, you know, this is saying go ahead and put those energies out there and help other people the best you can in the way that you're able to because what you're putting out, you're going to get back tenfold as far as a blessing. So use that spiritual law of attraction to create and bring to you all of the blessings and the forward move it, movement that you're looking for this week. So all in all, this is a very, very good week. Things are starting to move forward, and we're starting to see those positive things unfold in our life. So keep positive thoughts, keep positive emotions, and until next time, many blessings to all of you.